Okay, we are back. We have knit a row and now we're ready to purl again. Um, I just want to also take a moment to talk about the fabric. So if I flip this over, I started out doing garter, which means I am knitting every row. And if you kind of pull this apart, you can see that there's kind of hills and valleys. Hills and valleys. That's garter and it's going to look the same on both sides. Whereas stockinette is where you're knitting on one side and purling on the other. So your purl side has little bumps and your knit side has little V's. So I always like to say your knit stitches are wearing V-neck sweaters and your purl stitches are wearing turtlenecks. But now let's get on to purling continental. So for this, I am holding my yarn in my left hand. And for this one, it's the first stitch is always the hardest. You want to make sure you're getting over that bump. Now I'm going to push my yarn down clockwise. And off. So coming from right to left, from back to front, around the needle clockwise, I'm just kind of pushing it through, pushing it down and through. And find, find a way, a comfortable way to hold your yarn. You don't have to do it exactly like I do. Okay, so that is purling. Continental.